Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the training the model guys. Okay, so basically we want to train multiple layer perceptron, right? So we need to get the waves and all those things. So what are the steps involved? Right? So basically we include three steps guys. One is a forward pass. The second is loss calculation. After that, the backtracking, updating the values. Okay, yes. So if, po if mostly I'll be sharing you the, th the concept and I'll be sharing you a problem of XOR guys. So basically most of you are, have been asking me about the XOR solution to be solved. Okay, so I'll be just writing it and I'll be sharing it as soon as possible guys. Okay, so don't worry about it. So let us start. So forward pass. So in this step, the training model, we just pass the inputs and the model and multiply with the weights and add bias at every layer and find the calculation of the model. Okay, so we are doing forward pass. We are passing our values. We are calculating the values at those points. Okay, so loss function. Loss function is nothing but we are checking whether there is any predicted value. We are getting exact value or not. So when we pass the data instead, we will get some output from the model, right? So it is called as a predicted output. So that is the output which is given by our model. Okay, so we have label with the data that the real time output. So basically we also know the real time output. So what is XOR real time output? Okay, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So it is 0, 1, 1, 0, right? Yes. So in that way, we know the expected output. So whenever we are giving 0, 0, we should get this 0 else our values or our weights are wrong right yes so we'll be changing those values so a simple function for that is a expected output minus predicted output whole square guys okay so this is a small function you can say like this there are multiple functions which are used in multi-layer perceptron guys so based on your requirements we'll be using any one of them okay yes so let us continue so the last step is nothing but so we you calculated the error right so based on that error you need to do some modifications right so the modification phase is nothing but the backtracking phase so after calculating the loss we backtrack the loss and update the weights of the model by using the gradient okay so this is the main step in the training model okay so i tried searching for it guys but it's a bit complex so i have skipped it so anyway i'm going to post the answer for it guys okay so don't worry about it okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we'll be discussing the examples of using mlp so basically can we use mlp everywhere so we'll be checking that in the next lecture guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching